ages ago, or so the stories tell, the power of alchemy ruled over the world of Wayard. Alchemy wrought the base elements of humanity into thriving civilizations, like turning lead into gold, because that really helps with a medieval development. But in time, man's dreams gave birth to untold strength. Dreams of endless riches, of eternal life, of domination over all that lived. Dreams of conquest and war. These dreams would have torn the world apart if not for a few brave and wise men who sealed away the power of alchemy deep within Mount Alf's soul sanctum. Prologue from Book One The town of Vale guarded the secret for many years until Isaac and Jenna, whose parents died in a storm three years before, disturbed the sanctum. Satros and Minardi, of the Mars clan, followed them into the sanctum. With them traveled Jenna's brother, Felix, thought lost in the same tragic storm. Cetros and Meridi stole the elemental stars, the keys to breaking the seal on the power of alchemy, and kidnapped Jenna and the scholar Creighton. If these four jewels were used to fire the elemental lighthouses, the seal on alchemy would be broken. Isaac and Garrett set out to stop Satros, rescue their friends, and return the elemental stars to their home. They banded together with a young wind adept named Ivan, and pursued Satros and Meridi to a mill, a winter-locked town, at the base of the Mercury Lighthouse. There, they met the guardian of the lighthouse, a girl named Maya. With her, they pursued the evil duo to the eerie high, high of the Mercury Lighthouse. They were too late to stop Satros from blighting the beacon. And again, they chased uh, the group, crossing the Angra into the shores of the Caragol Sea, which is an inland sea. Taking passage on a troubled ship, as it crossed the into Tolby, he spoke with the le leader of the Empire, a strange man named Babi. Babi entered Isaac in the Colosso, and I feel like the Colosso is not really all that important, actually. Um, thanks to a mysterious rot he stole from the lost land of Lemuria. Fabi has lived for the last 150 years! He offered to help Isaac, who then headed deep into Gondawan. In Lalivero, Isaac learned that Satros and Meridi had kidnapped a young girl named Shiva, whom they needed within the lighthouse. The, the, the Venus lighthouse, that is. Isaac fought and defeated them atop the Venus lighthouse. But again, he was too late. The beacon had been lit. A great cataclysm followed. Sheba fell into the sea. Felix jumped to save her, but both were lost in the rolling waves. Jenna left the lighthouse to find them, but no avail. Meanwhile, Isaac went to Lalivero, where Bebe asked him to find Lemuria. Wait, no, that's not really quite right. More like Bebe asked him to find Lemuria and gave him a ship to do so, and the ship was in Lemuria. Uh, well, I guess he sort of said that. Anyway! But this is not Isaac's story. This, is, this story begins with Jenna. 
just before the beacon is lit. And hello, this is Kiss Blue, and welcome to Let's Play Golden Sun The Lost Age. Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, I mean, I guess that sort of works. Um. Can I just, uh. It is. The Lost Age! Screenshot. Um. Okay then. Oh. Hmm, this looks familiar. Why? I think this is. I think I remember this going through the. Eh. Can't speak. Ah, okay. I think I remember going through this area with Isaac. Are you sure we should be living like this? Once we go down those stairs, we can't get back into the lighthouse. Maybe I should have stopped my brother. Jenna, is something troubling you? It's just... Um... I have a bad feeling. Like something terrible is going to happen. Oh, it's Alex. Hmm. I'm not real sure what voice to give Alex, actually. Uh, you could say that. Alex, were you listening? Um, well, about that. He left us. He returned to try and protect Shiva, if I recall correctly. Uh, indeed. I thought you would have uh, be well. I maybe you're giving us too much credit. I mean, we can't freaking teleport, so. I mean, it's a big tower. It takes a while to climb down. Did you? I don't recall that. How like him. Once physics gets an idea in his head, he rarely changes his mind. What? Hmm. You were surprised, but he's her, he is her brother. I don't think he was saying that, actually, but you are definitely a ho You're definitely a Mars addict, let's put it that way. <laughs> Hotheads, the lot of them. Well, Jenna, I think Alex has said his piece on the matter. That was not Creighton's voice. Um, wow, you're really gonna push this issue? <laughs> you are. What? Hmm. Why shouldn't we be? Would we? Would we really? Actually, probably. Well, obviously. Obviously he followed you. And again, obviously. Uh, well, I don't really see... F I don't really see, um... Huh. I don't really see that happening, to be honest. If the Venus Lighthouse has not yet been lit, yes, they will fight. I mean... <laughs> Good 
Good question. Although, possibly a little bit, um... Anyway, moving on. It's good qu if you say so. I mean, he probably would. Isaac's a pretty cool guy. Why didn't you? And actually, wait, are you hostages? I'm confused now. I mean, it probably isn't. Uh, 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 our methods may differ, but you and I ultimately want the same thing. Uh, okay, so why are we trying to do that? Again, I thought we were prisoners. Yeah, well, um, about that. Um, I mean, I will admit, I did- it may have taken more than one try to beat them, but... Only because of bad play. Uh, and it, move, again, moving on. Why shouldn't I be? After all, the lighthouse will soon shine brightly once again. Hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and? Mankind worked wonder- okay. So, you want to restore the power of alchemy to... And? And what? Okay, so you're not- obviously you're not- you're not just a good Samaritan. Um... I mean, I don't really know what's going on. Well, I kind of do, but I'm claiming I don't. Um, I concur. Let's meet at the location we agreed on and wait for Felix. And regardless of the actual reasoning for Sadra Samarity, they're huge assholes. So, you know, limited sympathy on that one. Yeah, I knew it. I have seen this before. Of course, I don't have... Really? Okay, um, wow. And we're Jenna! Let's not dawdle. Well, I don't think there's any enemies in the light, this part of Lead House right now. If only because any enemies there would be would totally kick our asses. As you will recall, we are level 5. And this was the final dungeon of the first Golden Sun game. So... Probably not a very good match for us. Um, was there anything over here, actually? I don't think so, but off the top of my head, I'm not totally sure. Oh, there is a box! Oh, it was already open. But there's still an herb! I guess that Isaac and his group already opened that box. Seems like it. Makes sense. I do seem to recall opening it, so... I suppose it does stand to reason to some extent that it would, you know, have been opened. Hmm. Hmm. The, these are pretty big seagulls. There they are! Get them! Um. Iodem sent us to stand guard here, but. I mean. Nothing? Like. Yeah, come on! Uh, well, that's probably true, actually. You do, but... I mean, I don't know about the soldiers. They are former, um, colossal... ...participants, so... 
possibly even champions, so they may actually stand a good chance against me. Probably not the civilians, though. Uh, what? Guys in the cave? Actually, no, what? Soldiers from Lalivero? How unfortunate. It looks like an ambush. What should we do? Oh, I think you know what will happen. What do you mean? Look around! We have to fight them! <laughs> I mean, I don't know if Jenna is, I certainly am. Although, there is somewhat of an alternative to us fighting them. We regroup along the road leading away from Lalivero. Uh, okay. I just said no by accident. <laughs> Take the path to- okay. So we meet at I Itajima. Indeed. No pro-, pro probably not much of a problem for sy synergy. Yep. I double checked to make sure I had it, so I definitely have it. And in the meantime, I well, I'm all I'm saying is he can teleport. So who knows what else he can do? I mean, flying and teleporting is already like, frankly, he could he could literally just completely ignore you, and he'd be fine. But we probably wouldn't. Um, anyway. Hmm. Let's see just what he can do. By advancing, I presume you mean to fight. Permit me to strike the first blow. Yep, he's kind of incredibly powerful. Yeah. <laughs> and they're probably just gonna run. Seriously, there's no way we're gonna fi face off against you. Let's get out of here! <laughs> Chirp literally tripping over themselves to run away. How undignified and shameful. I don't really think it's shameful, to be honest. Maybe a little bit undignified, though. Indeed! To Itajima! Let's go meet them together, shall we? Uh, do you really think that? I mean, I don't even need to say it, because he just did. Do you really think even a hundred men can stop him? I don't. Maybe like a hundred synergy people. Probably a hundred synergy people. But... A uh, hundred adepts, that is. But they definitely do not have a hundred adepts. Uh, not really, no. Yep, that's it. Definitely worried about Felix. I don't care about hurting innocents. If they get in my way, I'll kick their ass. Pretty much. Um... Nito, let's just <laughs> let's just do a little bit more. Then I'll stop. I think because I want, as was the case with Secret of Mana, not Secret of Mana, Sword of Mana, I would prefer to have a short. My first few episodes be shorter before I settle into whatever the regular length would be. And he's dead. That was easy. Um. 
Synergy! Okay, on that note, I am gonna actually stop up here. So, before I sign off, as this is the first episode of a series, I do briefly want to make a su humble suggestion to you. If you're new to my channel, and you like what you see and you want to see more, and since you've presumably watched to the end of this video, I assume you probably do, you might want to want to try subscribing and see how that works out for you. It'll help my channel grow, grow a bit, and it'll help you keep track of when I upload new videos. But whether you do that or not, I'm not going to mention it again in this series. So until next time, when we make it to Itajima, this has been Let's Play Golden Sun The Lost Age with Chaos Blue, and have a good day. Bye!